Here we'll talk about network analysis. Before we go further, let us just imagine you are constructing a hospital. For that, you'll have to be in contact with engineers, constructors, laborers, doctors, uh, equipment providers, people like that, right? Involving all of them, you make a plan to reach your end goal. So this graphic plan of all events and the activities which is needed to be completed in order to reach your end goal is network analysis. When you involve them in your plan, they'll get to know what you are expecting from them and they can try their level best to complete your project in the required time. It brings a greater discipline in planning by which one can know what is expected of them and minimize any delays from their side in implementation of the plan. So there are two types of network analysis. The first is program evaluation and the review technique and the second is critical path method. Coming to this program evaluation and the review technique. Network analysis is a graphic plan to reach your end goal. In case of program evaluation and the review technique, graphic plan is in the form of arrow diagram. So first we'll construct an arrow diagram which represents the logical sequence which is needed to be followed to reach your end goal. And from this arrow diagram, you can know what is the time required for different things or what is critical and what is not. Basically, the critical path is something which requires more time, which takes more time. And if there is any delay in this critical path, the whole project will get delayed. So by looking at this arrow diagram, you'll get to know what is the time taken for different things and what is a critical path and what is not a critical path. By this, you can aid planning, you can schedule things, you can monitor the project and also it allows the better communication between various levels of management and identifies the problem. If you think there is a problem at this particular uh, communication, it also allows the better communication. So planning, scheduling, monitoring, communication. First, what are you doing here? You are constructing this arrow diagram. By looking at this diagram, you will get to know what is the time required for the different things and it helps in aiding, planning, scheduling, monitoring and the communication. Now let us talk about this critical path method. In program evaluation review technique itself, there is one activity which takes the longest time or the longest path, right? So that is a critical activity. It is the longest part of the network. If any activity along this path is delayed, then the entire project will be delayed. Now let us see this diagram. It is the arrow diagram. Uh, so first we'll plan for the project and will order the equipment it will take two months and for the installation of equipment you need 10 months this activity is taking the longest time or the longest path so that is why this is called as critical path here our end goal is to construct the hospital under one year this critical path is taking 10 months the longest part of our network analysis so in this time we'll plan other small activities like recruiting the staff training the staff we can do other activities from the meantime of critical path you are recruiting the staff it is taking four months and you are training the staff it is taking two months and then later install equipment and the uh, project will be started. So this is about network analysis. So it's a graphic plan to reach your end goal. Now so involve all of your group of people and talk to them. They'll get to know what is required and uh, what is expected from them. So they'll try to minimize any delays from their side. Two types, program evaluation review technique, critical path method. The critical path method is the longest pathway. It requires more time. Any delay in the critical path will delay the whole project. So this critical path method also comes in this arrow diagram of port, which is program evaluation and the review technique. So it will draw an arrow diagram, you'll know what is critical and what is not and you'll plan accordingly. Also it aids planning, scheduling, monitoring and communication. So that is about it. Bye.